What's up guys, today's tutorial is for Bruises by Lewis Capaldi. The song structure for this song is gonna be verse, pre-chorus, chorus, then another verse, pre-chorus, chorus, then a bridge, and then one final chorus. So we're gonna break that down into three different guitar parts. The part played in the verse, the part played in the pre-chorus, and then the part playing in the chorus and the bridge. So let's get started with the part played in the verse. We're gonna start on A minor, and we're just gonna be playing nice, simple, easy, kind of slow strums to give it that really nice ambient sound to it. We're gonna switch on a bunch of different beats that you can see on the screen, and it's probably gonna be easiest for you just to listen and follow along with my playing whether the, rather than me explain it too much. Just one quick note, we're gonna switch between A minor, G, F, and C twice, and then A minor, E minor, F, and C two more times. So just watch out for that change up there, but now I'll play the entire verse for you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's it for the part played in the verse. Now moving to the pre-chorus. We're gonna still wanna stay on our nice, simple single strums. You're definitely gonna find it way easier to just follow along with the chords and lyrics in the description below this video and just change chords where the lyrics are above the chord. And that's gonna make it much easier to follow along than me trying to explain anything. Again, nice, simple, easy strums. And it'll sound really nice. Then moving into the part play of the chorus, we're gonna fill it out a little bit more to make it a little more interesting and make it better to listen to. So you can see the chord changes on the screen. We're doing F, A minor, E minor, F, and then second time G, A minor, E minor, F. So just that F and G have been switched in the second time. So then this is how I like to play this. I think it sounds pretty cool and it just adds a bit of a darker mood to it. So all I'm doing here is I'm starting on the F, one, two. So mute on the two, and then play an A minor on the and of two. So one, two, and three, four. Then in that second bar, staying on the A minor, I'm gonna do a muted one and two and a. Then three and four and a. So that's a. Uh, so mute, mute, down, down, up, mute, mute, down, down. And then I usually mute just by resting the side of my palm on the strings. It gives that kind of muted, dark sound to it. And then you're just going to follow that same strumming pattern for all four lines of the chorus. So F to A minor, E minor to F, G to A minor and then E minor to F. So all together, that's gonna to sound like this. So I think that's a pretty fun way to play the chorus. And then the contrast between the smooth, slow strums of the verse and the pre-chorus with that fuller, darker sounding chorus, I think really adds another dimension to your playing and makes it a lot more interesting sounding. 
And if you can play those three parts, you can play the entire song. Again, make sure to follow along with the chords and lyrics in the description below this video. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you get notified of all new videos I post, and I'll see you in the next five minute guitar lesson.